Hi, my name is Freddie, and I'm in the class of 2023. Um, I decided to take AP Physics because I knew I wanted to go into an engineering career, and I already had some background uh, from the Principles of Engineering course. Um, so, like, I was able to kind of dip my toes into the water before I took the course and see, like, do I like this? And I did a lot. Um, so that's why I went on to take AP Physics uh, in my junior year. Um, the course was about what I expected. There were a lot of lectures, definitely, but there was also a lot of opportunities to apply what you did in those lectures into uh, like group discussion, homework, or um, labs in the class. There were a lot of those. Um, I felt pretty prepared to take the course. The only issue really was that uh, any of the juniors that took it with me, we had Algebra 2 over Zoom, and a strong foundation in Algebra is critical. Um, so that didn't affect me as much, but it definitely did affect some people. Um, but if, if your foundation in algebra is strong, you're fine. And if it's a little rusty, then you're still probably good because you can just, uh, um, you, you'll brush up a little bit as it goes on. It doesn't start off too complex. Um, I would say homework is pretty important in AP physics. Uh, you can, it allows you to like go off and on your own. Uh, and then you can kind of bring it back to class and then ask questions, which is really beneficial. Um, and the other thing is there's not really that much. So like it might be like 10 problems a week, um, which is definitely doable. It's a lot less than some other courses. Uh, and then studying and participation. So and studying is kind of on like a need to do basis. Um, I, me personally, I didn't have to study for too much um, in physics, uh, just through strong participation in class and paying attention. Um, the exam... <laughs> Uh, it's, I took it because I wanted to see how I did, um, just from the course overall. Um, the main issue with it is that as an engineer, I don't actually get any credit from it. Uh, at least in terms of like my required physics courses, it doesn't get me out of those. Uh, and it doesn't get most engineers out of those, even though I got a five. Um, I would say if, uh, now like if the school offers AP Physics C, um, then definitely take the exam. Uh, physics is often used as a weed out course, but as it is now, I'd still recommend taking it. Uh, but it's mostly just as a way to see what you can do. Um, I really liked how interconnected the class was, um, just because it, it was, uh, continually building. Now I do kind of wish I knew this before, I took the class because, um, going into it, I, it was just post COVID for me. And I didn't start out the strongest because of that. Uh, so, and then I was paying for it later because I had to go back and then study all the stuff from the first unit in the second, third, fourth. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of a strength and a weakness. Like if you're, um, if you are attentive during the class, then it's a really good thing because it's like, oh yeah, I remember this. And also it's a, it's a nice way to study too, because you're always doing everything. So it's not like some other AP classes where you go back to study and then you're like, oh, I haven't dealt with this since, uh, you know, like uh, the first unit. Uh, in physics, everything kind of shows up again. Uh, so you're able to kind of refresh your memory on it. Um, I took the class my junior year. And then uh, my junior year, I took uh, just physics and gov, AP gov. Um, and then now in my senior year, I went on to take uh, both macro and microeconomics, AP Computer Science A, AP Calculus BC, and AP English Language and Composition, as well as AP Biology. Uh, physics definitely prepared me more so for the economics class, the computer science class, and calculus. Uh, calculus is actually very similar because they both have that cumulative building structure throughout the course. Um, and then, uh, comp sci and macroeconomics and microeconomics, those were both, uh, like less memorization heavy courses and more logical problem solving courses, which is a skill that's very stressed in physics. Uh, so it, it really helped me out there. Um, and then that's like probably the best part about physics is that it makes you a better problem solver. Um, so, like, A push, it's like you memorize, you know, 80 different things on note cards. Uh, but then physics, it's more you have to memorize, like, one overarching principle. 
and then you have to know all the applications of it. So like, you know, and you have an equation sheet and everything to help you out. So it's like you have all the tools on you and then you just have to know how to use them. Um, and yeah, so I think it, it really makes you a smarter problem solver, which is, I think why, even if you're maybe not going into engineering and you don't need the experience in physics itself, it's still a good course to take because you, uh, like I said, become a better problem solver. Um, in terms of like the difficulty of AP courses, this is going to be pretty heavily biased to how I am as a student and my interests. But the hardest ones for me were A push and AP gov because it was just a lot of content and a lot of memorization. Um, now, even with that, I was still able to get a four on both exams just through hard work and effort. Um, so like, it's still definitely achievable to do well in those classes. But for me, those were the hardest to do well in. Um, and then the AP bio and the economics classes, they're like kind of a, a mix where there's still a lot of stuff to memorize. But then there are also some like, you know, more overarching concepts throughout the entirety of the class that, uh, you know, uh, it's more like you're you learning the applications of something rather than just memorizing a list of like, you know, uh, functions. And then uh, AP Lang, that one was pretty hard for me, but that's just because I'm not the strongest in English. Um, once the, I'm still doing pretty well in the class just through hard work. So like, you know. These rankings, they don't really matter that much. It's just how much... It's not like the one on first place you're not going to do well in. It's more just that you just have to put in more work to do well. Uh, all the APs here, they're, you know, um, they're definitely challenging, but they're definitely achievable. Um, and then towards the bottom would be like uh, calculus and uh, physics because... You know, just for me, those are areas that one, I'm interested in, and two, I really like the structure of the class because um, they have that cumulative building, which is really helpful um, for me at least because studying is way easier <laughs> because there's nothing that, you know, oh, comes back out that you haven't seen since unit one and it's going to be on the AP test uh, because every th you use everything um, even in the in the later units. And then I would say the easiest AP course I took uh, and am currently taking is AP CSA. Um, I don't even have a, I don't have too strong of a foundation in coding. I do have more than most. Uh, but yeah, I found that class really easy um, just because there's so many uh, resources out there to learn coding. So if you have any questions in that class at home uh, or even in the class, you know, uh, you can Google it pretty easily, and there's a lot of infrastructure there for learning how to code, uh, which you can use. Um, and then also, there are always people in those classes who have, like, you know, they've already taken college courses for coding. So I would actually definitely recommend taking it because you can learn a lot from your fellow peers, which uh, is going to come in handy later in life. And then uh, one thing I would recommend uh, to any uh, student rec uh, thing about taking AP is to take a push first. Um, it has the most, most content and, uh, aside from what I think it is widely considered to be the hardest AP class. Um, so I'd say take it first, get it out of the way. Um, but also definitely don't let it dissuade you if you do bad. So like, cause a push, um, that was the only B I've gotten so far in high school. Um, but I didn't let it dissuade me. Um, and I, then I went on to take, um, like, you know, five AP classes this year and I'm doing fine. Um, I think, yeah, it's really important to not let a push if you do bad, uh, like kind of affect you because once again, it's a lot of that memorization. So then maybe if it's just not for you, uh, then you can try like, you know, physics, calculus, uh, economics, some of those classes that are more about problem solving than memorization.